This movie tells a story about Leonardo da Vinci who struggles to work as an artist and inventor in Italy where his ideas begin to create friction with the Pope. He then moves to France where he has more freedom to work, experiment and invent things with the support and friendship of the princess. First of all, this story is far from intriguing and the movie doesn't necessarily know how to tell the story compellingly for any demographic. It's not funny or imaginative enough to keep children entertained while the storytelling and characterization are too simplistic and educational for the adults. It's also far too dry and slow moving to hold the attention of younger viewers and at the same time, it's not thorough or profound enough to enlighten adults about the main character as an artist, inventor, and human being. The story and the script fail to be imaginative and resonate. It tries hard to be simple but it's really quite complex. It jams in so much information that young viewers may be a bit overwhelmed. It delivers so much information so superficially that it's equally hard to keep up and care what happens. The story takes too much to bite, and each of these themes has its own background, implications, experiments, and hosts of characters. Skimming over all of it gives us too much and too little at the same time. There are too many scenes that feel dull, dry, clunky, and pedestrian. None of the characters, not even Leonardo da Vinci, truly come to life. This is all made worse by how wooden and disinterested the voice acting ensemble comes across. The pacing is fast enough, but without an engaging narrative, the film begins to overstay its welcome very early on. Visually, the movie tries to combine stop-motion animation and 2D animation. Apart from giving a pleasant color palette, these two different animation styles fail to elicit a sense of wonder and beauty as it's mostly uninteresting and static. Overall, we do not recommend to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your free TV channel.